What's up, Hot Sauce fans? I'm Jeremy Blanchard, and uh, today I am going to review the Spicy Shark. The Spicy Shark. I saw this online um, a while back, and I was like, oh my god, that looks so classy and so, so good. Decided that I was going to get a bottle of it, and I actually found this randomly in my gas station. I was, I just happened to be going to get some gas and, and I was inside and saw on the shelf that they had the spicy shark and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to buy some of that now. Uh, this is the original habanero and eat the heat on the front and born in New England. It's got a shark with a, with flames coming out of his mouth. Anyway, so we got three out of five fins. It says medium heat, basically. Well, it says medium on it. Ingredients, bell pepper, carrot, onion, apple, vinegar, habanero pepper, lemon juice, banana, banana? Water, garlic, fennel? Okay. Ginger, salt, olive oil, fruit pectin, sugar, uh, orange oil, organic fruit, and vegetable juice for color. Uh, it's distributed by the Spicy Shark LLC, and they're they're in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. You can find them at thespicyshark.com, and they're on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as well. On the side here on the label, it says, "Eat the heat, savor the flavor." The original Spicy Shark recipe is a combination of founder Shark Gabe and sister Shark Adriana. I hope I said that right. Family recipe that was perfected in his kitchen. The bold flavor of habanero is tempered with sweetness of carrot and ginger, delicately, deli bleh, bleh, delicately balanced, but with a great white bite. Goes great with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and everything in need of flavor and heat, which is pretty much anything in my house. So, um, shake well, vegan, gluten-free, yeah. So, it looks really good. It looks very orangey. It looks very, um, like there's too many too many carrots in it. Some of these I haven't heard, like fruit pectin, I've never heard of that. Orange oil, I've never heard of that. I mean, I don't even know what that is, orange oil. Is it like this, the oranges are, are squeezed and oil comes out? I'm not sure. So I got a new spoon so I can um, not be killing myself with a huge spoonful of it. And we'll see how it tastes. I got my trusty knife here. Get the, uh, the label right off. Um, trusty knife, I should probably get this thing sharpened. All right. Let's crack this baby open. Smells like habanero. Mmm, makes my mouth water just smelling it. The OG. As the spicy shark said. Oh, that was a little too much there. Okay, let's, uh, let's put some back in there. That came out pretty quick, so you know it is. It is a little bit thicker than uh, some of the like the classic hot ones, for example, is is pretty runny. So this one's this one's runny, but it's still got some some. Uh, viscosity to it. All right, here we go. Cheers. Hmm. That was very interesting. I I was not expecting that flavor at all. I was expecting habanero and a kick right up front, and it does have a little little heat to it but it's it's like you know out of 10 it'd be like a one or maybe even less and like like 0.5 it's um very manageable in that i definitely tasted the carrot i'm just trying to think of what else what else is coming to me let me try another one just to Yeah, all I taste is carrot and habanero. <laughs> I, I don't know. That, I mean, I'm I'm sure that if there's more of a connoisseur of, of flavors and stuff, that that they'd probably be able to pick out each individual one. But the overwhelming for me was carrot and the habanero. 
um, more carrot than anything. And actually, I really enjoy this. Uh, it's very nice. And if you want something that's not like explosion in your mouth um, heat, uh, but explosion in your mouth flavor, um, this is on point. Uh, it's very good. I, I would actually buy, I would buy this again. So yeah, that's the Spicy Shark. They're at, uh, again, the spicyshark.com and um, wonderful, wonderful original habanero hot sauce. Very, very interesting flavor profile. I would, I'd probably slather this all over anything that I eat. And so this bottle will be gone pretty quickly. Um, I can't wait to try their other products. I know they have a bunch of other hot sauces. I can't wait to try them. I would highly recommend this one if you're not into super heat, but want a good flavor profile, this is the one to go for. I'm gonna go back for more. You know, that time I tasted banana. I guess I could taste some garlic as well. Yeah, now that I've had a couple few spoons of it, I don't know if it's just the fact that you know, maybe there's certain flavors in different areas of the of the bottle or whatever, and maybe maybe I just didn't shake it well enough. I don't know, but just it's really good. It's really good. I I really enjoy this. Like, subscribe, follow, reshare, tweet. I would really appreciate it. it. Helps out the algorithm. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day.